Hey guys, what's up? Davis here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to pretty much install a KV or pretty much use a KV to get online. Uh, if you guys haven't checked out my other video of how to set your console up to get online and everything, uh, go check out my other video. I have a link in the description. And what I'm going to be using today is a KV checker, and I'm, I'm going to be using Neighborhood. And uh, for Neighborhood, some of you guys get like worried when you download the link for it because you you get this and you guys are like what is this so what this is is it's pretty much it's like the install for neighborhood so when you download this it's like 1.4 42 gigabytes or something like that and uh, what you do is you install this and then once you install everything on it you'll get neighborhood and then you'll be able to use it so um pretty much what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in the KV checker and we're gonna check our KV to see if it's banned and we're gonna go into KVs we're gonna move this in here or copy and paste it doesn't matter and then we're gonna run this and go back to KVs and log and it'll say it's unbanned if it says that then you can use it if it's banned then it's no good so just move this back all right and I'm gonna show you guys actually how to use it on um, on your uh, on a flash drive I'm gonna show you guys how to transfer it through a flash drive first and then um, so yeah I have my flash drive plugged in and I already have my KV on it, so what I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just keep it as KV, just like that, and then uh, I'm gonna plug my flash drive into my RGH now, and I'm gonna go right here. I plug my flash drive in, and there's a delay on this Elgato capture, whatever. So then, what you're gonna do now is you're gonna click RB and then you're gonna see KV.bin if it doesn't it didn't update yet but <clears throat> excuse me there we go so you see KV.bin right there uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna press Y on that copy press X go down to HDD1 and then you're gonna paste it so you're gonna press Y and then go down to paste and then so yeah, you have kv.bin right there. Also, if it does not say kv.bin, exactly how that's spelled, it's not gonna work on your console. So um, that's pretty much how you do it for a flash drive. And then I'm just gonna delete this because I'm gonna show you guys how to do it on a uh, on neighborhood now. So let's go back out of here. And then let's see, we're gonna load up neighborhood and for you to actually connect your console to neighborhood you're going to have to have a ethernet cable or a wireless adapter then connect to your internet and you're going to click add xbox 360 click next and then you're going to type in your ip and how you get your ip is uh you're going to go right here you're going to click um once you're in xcx menu you're going to you're going to click uh, rv two times then at the bottom right here you're gonna see your IP so you're gonna type that in right there and click next and then you're gonna click yes and then so yeah then you'll be able to transfer it from there but um yeah let me get out of this and then we're gonna go to JTAG retail hard drive and then this is actually where we're gonna move our KV in so right here we're just gonna drag this and drop it right in there and then kv.bin right there so now we're gonna go back over here and I'm gonna go ahead actually I'm gonna go ahead and restart it now so yeah once you put your KV on just restart your console so right now if I try it's not gonna um, it's not gonna load because it's uh, not connected right now so you just wait for it to boot up yeah it should restart I don't know if y'all heard that but 
once you uh, start it up, it gets to the logo, then it just turns right back off, and that's actually a good sign. So, so yeah, it's booting back up, and since I'm using Xenon files, it's gonna be. Um, you're gonna have to go to network settings and then test connection again. So let me do that right now. Oops. So yeah, we're online pretty much right now. So if we back out, we should get some ads. Yep. So I can sign into my profile now. And uh, I'm actually not going to do that because I have to enter a password. But yeah, that's pretty much all of this video. We're online, which is what we wanted to do. So yeah, uh, all the links are in the description. Make sure you download them. And make sure you check out my YouTube or, yeah, my channel and uh, follow me on Instagram. Check out my Facebook page, all that good stuff. I sell custom RGHs and all that. So, yeah. See you guys later.